Hello Taurus, this is Sue from Sweet Love Tarot. I'm doing singles readings today. Um, and I just, I got to a point yesterday where I just couldn't continue. Um, so I had to wait until I was uh, rested up and so I'm continuing today. So uh, this is for Taurus and uh, it's for mid-July to the end of July. So um, I have already shuffled, so I just need to cut the cards and I'm ready to go. Okay, now, now this should indicate your past. And this would indicate your current situation. Uh, the challenges that you face right now. Actions that you can take. And a probable outcome. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I want to pull a clarifier here. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, um, okay, uh, Taurus, in your past line here, I've got um, the Knight of Cups uh, in the upright, uh, and, that, and that is the most romantic of all the knights. Uh, this, is, this is your classic knight in shining armor. Uh, this is charm, love, um, Well, moving at a, a decent clip, <laughs> not not uh, not slow. But I also have here the Queen of Cups, which is emotional maturity, um, security, uh, calm. This 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 Queen is full of intuition. So what I'm getting is there was a very emotionally balanced and kind of fulfilling thing in your past, um, but yet. I also have the King of Swords, which is clear thinking. Uh, this is logic. Uh, this is the um, the suit of um, the cerebral, using your brain. So this is someone who is clear thinking um, and very authoritative also, being the king. Um, so it, in some way this describes you something that uh, occurred in your past. Um, now, your present situation, uh, I do see that you have walked away from the situation. You felt as if someone was holding back in, in I mean, I'm really holding back, not, not, not just in a, you know, regular holding back way, but in a way as to be almost completely blocked off. And, and I, and I, get the impression that you felt um, you felt really hurt by this you you felt almost hopeless and, and it, it made you doubt everything um, so you're you're in this in you're in self-doubt right now you you've walked away from that situation um, and this holding back I believe is you holding holding your your feelings in you probably don't feel like you can let everything uh, go um, and in your in your challenges I see uh, hard work I see that you you uh, appear to be uh, working very hard at something something that you need to be perfecting um, but I also have here uh, the death card in reverse which which to me says that you are resisting change um, it may have seemed very seemed uh, idyllic to you in the past, um, but so you're really bucking it. You don't want this to end, um, but that's interesting. You walked away. Well, there was real depression here. You almost felt like you had no choice, um, and you threw yourself into your work. Uh, and you're and you're having a hard time accepting it uh, uh, and changing. So, 
in order to go forward, I think you're going to have to do that. Um, and I, I also have the the um, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, which is a lack of progress uh, and um, no long-term uh, planning here. Uh, this uh, this page indicates to me that um, you really kind of feel stuck about uh, about the situation, about thinking it through. Um, but at the same time, uh, even though you you feel as if it's been unfair, this is in your action line here, things that you can do. And in two of these cards here, uh, uh, I see a willingness to let it go. You, and that's what you really need to do because you can't, you can't move forward uh, without letting it go. Um, and so this is the, um, the five of swords in the reverse. Um, and this is open to change. This is allowing new ideas to come in. Um, now, this, the six of uh, coins in the reverse speaks of something being unfair. So you feel as if the situation was unfair. And even still, you have to be able to let it go, to allow change to occur. You can't resist the change uh, like here, that's in your challenges. That's not going to get you anywhere. And with this uh, Eight of Swords in Reverse, that further reinforces a need to let something go. Uh, this is, uh, you've got two cards uh, right here, open to change, open to change. You have to, uh, well, or this is new perspectives and this is to change. So it's same thing, basically, even though something was unfair and you felt like there was a, a, an unevenness as far as give and take goes, you got to let it go. If you don't, if you're unable to let it go, you, you will be carrying baggage. This is the Six of Swords in Reverse. So this is um, unable to let go of the past and uh, carrying excess baggage. Um, and what you have here uh, is the Hermit, which means uh, being introspective and uh, looking for the answers within, soul searching. That, uh, that is what's gonna lead you to this. This is the Tower. Now, this is not, to me, the tower is not a negative card. Yes, it means that something ends, but um, it ended be for a reason. It ended because it was unstable. Uh, it wasn't good. So if you let these things from the past go, don't carry your excess garbage with you, think about what's going on, do some soul searching within yourself, transform yourself. This is a card of transformation. Uh, and then you have triumph. This is the last card that I pulled. This is the only clarifier that I felt I needed. Uh, this tells me that if you follow these steps, if you're able to let go of the past, only then are you going to feel like um, you're winning. And you're, you'll be recognized for this as well. So um, that's what I have for you this time. Um, let me pull a message from Spirit for you here. Uh, word of encouragement, uh, message. Uh, okay. Okay. Huh. The crumbling. What are you clinging to? Okay. That's, uh, that's going to be your biggest challenge, letting go of the past. Uh, you uh, stop resisting the change because the change is going to happen whether you like it or not. That tower is coming down. So um, that's what I've got for you this time, uh, Taurus. Uh, I hope you join me next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.